All right, you're nearly done. We're at the last video, the what do you need to do to earn this badge video. So here, let's review it. You've got to get the eight tutorial um, poses that you've learned about, those eight poses there, eight poses. You've got to uh, have at least one version of each pose and make sure, you know, just go talk to a classmate, go find a partner, go find some partners, group of people that you can go take photographs of. And then once you have those great photos, edit them. Make sure, don't go crazy with the filters and everything, just appropriately make them artistically beautiful, okay? So you have those. Send those in to whoever is doing the grading in your school for your badges. So send them in to them. Maybe you put them all in your student portfolio and then you send them a link. I don't know how you do it in your school, but you send them in. If they're really great and you think I might want to feature them either on the YouTube videos or on the student showcase on this website, go ahead and send them to me. It's mytechbadges at gmail.com. I'd like to take a look at them. Okay, so once you've got that done, then you can move on into the second half. Remember, we always do, earning your badge always comes in two halves. First you do the tutorials, then you do something in your classroom. Go send an email to your teacher or go up and talk to him and say, hey, I'm getting really close to earning this badge. It's all about people photography. Can I take photos at recess or at lunch or during library time or during science class? Something where you're taking photos of people. Now you're not necessarily getting people to pose for your photos, but sometimes you are. But you're learning that there's a good way to take photos of people, you know, as you're going to work on getting them on the angle or work with the lighting coming in from the windows because you know this stuff now. You can do really amazing things. So take at least five shots for a classroom project. Make sure they're edited. Make sure they're nice and get those uploaded. And again, send them to me if you want to. I'd like to see them and get them to the person who's doing the grading in your school for your badges. And you've got that done. It's great. And if they look really good, you'll get issued a badge. Congratulations, bada boom, bada bing, you are a photographer. And if you think you're up to it, not a lot, a lot of people can't do this, but if you think you're one of them, move on to level four. Because level four, we're just like, I mean, it's just amazing stuff. We, just to give you an idea, we take a photograph and we make it look like it's a painting. I mean, we do amazing things in level four. We can take a photograph and make it look miniaturized. I mean, just all sorts of time lapse, slow motion, panoramic, all these things we're going to cover in level four. So I'd love to see you there if you can handle it. Have fun, you guys.